Okay, so did you guys watch the episode? I want to know. Yes, I want to know. Did you guys TBR it? What did you guys think about it? And I'm going to start reading all your comments. I just want to know if you guys are all caught up. Um, what do you guys think? Hey. You're watching it now, okay? I think it's airing now for, no, not for the West Coast yet, right? Oh, California's got what, two more hours or something? Oh, okay. Jeez, I don't wanna really give it away too much then. That's right, California hasn't watched it. Thank you. Hi, Tabitha. Maddie, come on, jump on that. Yeah, so until eight o'clock in California. Yeah, I don't wanna to give too much away then. You know, it. I just thought about that actually. I should do this on like a Friday then. Oh my God, some of the stuff I was saying in this episode, I was just laughing at myself. The Shirley, what do you mean? No, that's not true. After the show airs. Yeah, no, I know, but the only thing about that is now I'm just remembered that remembering that the West Coast they don't get to see it yet. So I don't really want to I don't really want to give too much away because I want them to watch also. I wish I could watch the show with you guys, but one time I tried to go on live and I was everybody was like, no, you have to tweet. I was like, shit. So I can't do both at one time. Um, but you guys can watch it on your own, in your own houses, with your family, friends, you know, have Jersey Shore, Jersey parties, whatever, and then I'll go on live. Um, but now I'm starting to think about the California people. That might be a little bit of an issue. Thanks, Gianna. Love you, too. You guys are funny. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I think Fridays are better, probably, because then everybody from, you know, the East Coast, Pacific um, time, and then West Coast can watch it. So maybe I'll do it like that on Fridays instead. Oh shit, yeah, the slime, God. I swear I had another pack in there of Nathan's and they just didn't use them. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Then my messy dresser, I'm like, like, no. And I told, like, I, I told the producers and the cameraman, I'm like, no, you can't film my room until I clean the freaking counter. And they're like, we swear. And then they get it on. I'm like, they put it on there. I'm like, oh, shit. It looks like a disaster. Do live on your iPad and tweet on your phone. I know, but the only thing is it's going to take away. They want me to just watch it and then tweet and then um, later talk to you guys. Craft single spurling. <laughs> I think the NC trip is airing next week, actually. I think so. I mean, it looks like it is, right? That's some trip, let me tell you guys. Whew. I can't. Yeah, no, I'm I'm a mess. I'm a freaking mess. I, and I have to I have to be honest, my dresser's always a mess. I'm like, I have a makeup room. This is where I am right now. I have this whole like vanity with all these beautiful lights. I never come in here to do my makeup. Like I've never since I moved into this house, I'll do my makeup on my dresser and make my dresser a mess in my bedroom. And then when the cameras come here, I'm like, da -da -da, and I'm trying to like clean it all off, but uh, then we'll take it out. No, you didn't freaking mess. 
hey, listen, but that's what makes me me, right? I'm a disaster. But I admit it, though. That's one thing about me. I will admit that I am a freaking walking disaster, but in a good way. Hi, Lori. New Mexico. Oh, thank you for buying badges, guys. Yeah, no, I'm not going to give anything. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this on Fridays, I think. Mm -hmm. Or maybe I'll give you guys the whole weekend or something. I don't know. But, you know, I, I'm going to know if you watched it or not. Because, like, some people, they'll see, like, the coming attractions and like, oh, well, that, no, 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 There's more that happens in an episode. There's so much that go into one episode. So much filming. Like, we filmed for months on end. And then I'm like, wait, that's all it's in this episode? Like, it's so funny because they'll chop it down because um, I think it's like 15 minutes of commercials or 14 minutes, something like that. But it's, we put a lot of work into this. Hey, guys. Um, no, they're black. They're black and white. But they look, I guess they, yeah, they kind of look blue. Okay, thank you guys for watching it on the East Coast. We just got done watching it 34 minutes ago. Um, thank you, Mike. Thank you to everybody that just bought badges. You guys are awesome. That's really cool of you guys for doing that. I, I didn't even expect that. Um, Australia. When does um, the show go to you guys in Australia? When do you guys get it? Yes, I do long days of filming sometimes. Sometimes 12 hours. You know. Sometimes it's a long time. No, guys, I am 100% full-blown divorced. Um, I'm allowed to tell you guys that now. I am 100% divorced, and here I am. That happened in, I think, May. So, yeah, I've been divorced. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. How did you see it an hour ago, Mike, if you're in California? Did you go on your computer, maybe? It goes, it, it, it's like East Coast. I just want to know how it works, guys. Cause I don't live in on the West coast. So I really don't know. I don't want to like, thank you, Nick. Hey, Texas. Thank you, Mara. I know, right? <laughs> Happy birthday. San Antonio. Hi. Boston, so the same here. Okay, so Boston's the same. Uh, new pets. Let's not even go there. I have too many new pets. Guys, you you need to watch this the series. Like, I can't give away much of what happens. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. Brooklyn, hi. Hi, guys. Ha oh, you're having a baby. I'm not a mom, so I can't give you the best advice, but you know what to do. It seems like what from what I've been told is you just know what to do, and you'll definitely be the best mom, so don't worry about that. I can tell. Every woman could be the best mom they want to be. It's up to you to be that mom. What am I, a philosopher? Like, what the hell? <laughs> I can't. I can't. Um, thank you. Thank you, Jimmy. I know, one day, right? One day I will be a mama. I hope. I mean, listen, let's see what God wants, right? That's what I always say. I'm like, I'm just giving it to God. Let's see what God wants. And basically, that's all I can do. I mean, 
you know, favorite stop on tonight's reunion, right? Answers only. Yeah, what was your favorite stop on tonight's? Oh, there you go. I like when you guys are asking the questions for me. Or you're asking me. I don't, I don't even know. What? What is Steakhouse Codes? What the hell is that? Am I missing something? Hey. Oh God, you guys are crazy. You're asking me, um, from this episode or for, from the whole entire thing, like the whole, the whole, um, season we just filmed. Yes, we still have to plan a party at my new house. You are so freaking right. It just got so crazy after I moved in here. Everything. Like, with everything going on, jeez. Tattoo's good. The whole thing. I would say the girls trip because it was, it was like, although I love the boys, you know, they do get annoying sometimes. They get annoying on, on these trips, especially Vinny. But, um, yeah, I just like to have a girls trip. I just, I thought it was fun. And there was no drama between the girls and I at that point, which is like nice. Wait, what? I can't, I have to read that again. Thank you. Oh my God, Erica, you're funny. <laughs> you're hilarious. There is drama this season, so don't think there isn't because it, it gets very spicy up in that, uh, up, up in this trip. Not this trip, but one of the trips. I can't say which one, but it gets um pretty dicey over there. Pretty crazy, actually. We already filmed the girls' trip, guys. Wait. Yeah, interest rates are crazy. I did watch it. That's why I'm on here. Yes, I love being on that show, All Star Shore. Um, except for when I landed myself in the hospital because my knees blew up. I don't know what the hell happened with that, but I think it was from just constantly banging them and, and, and kneeling on stairs. All this crazy, all these crazy things they had me doing. Um... It's been a lot. That was a lot. Last season was very hard for me to film. Very hard because of everything that was going on. This one was a little bit easier, but it was a little bit different. And you guys will see what I'm saying when um, it gets to it. But last, I would just have to say definitely takes the cake with like the, the hardest. That was the hardest season for me to film, 100%. 100%. Oh, I love Peanut. Peanut's my baby, she got a grooming today. She had a little spa. She had a little spa day today. So it didn't snow, but it was raining a lot this week. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you. 
Oh, Miami Beach Fire Boys. Oh gosh, guys. Hi. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um Yeah, you know, for today, I'm positive and I'm peaches over here. Peaches, I tell ya. Oh, Mosey's so nice. He was so he's such a good dog. That was sad to watch. I was crying. It's just a little press box over here. I'll show you guys soon once I'm wearing it. So I was going to go on this with my friend Zachary, but he's going to ask me a lot of questions that I don't know if I should answer tonight because since a lot of you didn't watch it um, in California, or am I wrong? Did you guys watch it? Because some, some people are saying they did watch it. Some, I'm confused. There we go. Oh, Angie, cancer as well. Yes, we're very emotional, but we're very... We put, we put up this tough front. Thank you. You guys got to go on Hulu. You guys have that? Thank you. I, I love that. I appreciate you guys so much. So how did you say, how did some of you watch and some of you didn't? Am I confused? Did it air already over there, like live or no? Because I know we're on different time frames. Like time, I'm an idiot. You know what I mean. Never been to Australia. Oh yeah, you know what? It's not on Hulu yet, but it does go up on there. Not tonight's episode, you're right. I think it's streamed. I think it goes on, I think, like, the week after. I don't know. I, I might be wrong, but I know that every single episode from last season I could get on Hulu right now. Paramount Plus, actually, too. Actually, yeah, Paramount Plus. Sorry. But I watched it. Yeah, Paramount Plus also, actually. There you go. Is it live on Paramount Plus? No one tells me anything. Hulu, Paramount Plus, but I would say let's get Paramount Plus because I like them better. That's right. Thank you for reminding me, guys. The Philo app. Is that how you say it? Paramount Plus only has a few seasons. No, the show is not scripted at all. <laughs> I can't. Why does everybody think this show is script? Like, how, how would we be able to do that? Like, make a script about it? We're not actors. Okay, when it comes on at 8, it's only 5 o'clock here. All right, so it's not up on Paramount as of right now. Okay. All right. It is on YouTube TV. MTV app, yes, you can go on there. Also, I forgot about that. You can go on there. Um... I think I'm gonna do the lives tomorrow. Uh, just to make sure that everybody's watched it already. And then I'm gonna, then I really wanna hear all of your input on it, like how they, how you guys thought it was and what you guys thought about it. What's your favorite thing that you watched? Like, I don't know what your favorite part is. Canada. Thank you. I love Canada. Eleven hour time. It'll be airing. Okay. Okay. So it didn't air yet over there. Yeah. So I'm not going to give this away yet. Thank you for telling me because I would have been like rambling on. Ah. Oh. Just found out you're Italian. Mm. It's 
like opening up Pandora's box with those things. Yes, we do hang out without the cameras. <laughs> New York City. Peanuts in the other room. Boston. Been there a few times. Um, Long Island, yes. Love it. Guys, trust me. There's sometimes when I watch myself on the show, I'm like, ugh, what the hell? The new season started tonight, babes. So don't forget. Detroit is in the building. Yeah, Buffalo, New York, been there a few times. Howard Beach, been there. Pennsylvania. You guys are from all over the place. The Bronx, look at that. Connecticut, Jersey. Okay, so you're like me. Yes, that pool party was something else. It wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be, but it, there was a couple of scenes. I was like, damn, I, I wish that would have aired, but it was, it was just funny. Okay, you guys are going to watch it tomorrow, some of you, so you don't have to. Who cares about the commercials? I have to watch them too. Watch it live with me next week. Like, while I watch it, then you watch it, and then I'll come on here. Alabama. Yes, my divorce is finalized. Um, it's finalized, guys. I am fully divorced. Did the Hard Rock Hotel? No. They actually, as far as I'm concerned, production handled that, so I don't know. Florida. It was good. Thank you. Queens. Hi, Queens. Queens is in the building. Uh, my favorite food. I love penne vodka. So that's for the pasta. So I love Italian food. I used to love sushi so much. I don't know what happened to me. I stopped like loving it as much. I, I used to really just love it. I want that all the time. But I don't know. I think it was just like one bad experience ruined it all for me. I'm like, no more. What are you guys saying? Oh my God. Lasagna, I like, actually, that's another one of my faves. I love lasagna. Favorite drink? Alcoholic or non? Oh my God. Stop it. Kentucky's in the building. I can name all my cats, yes, but I'm not going to do that right now. I don't want to be reminded about how many I have. Stop. Trust me, I don't take crap from anybody. I am uh, stronger than I, I even know. Trust me. Ooh. Favorite Starbucks drink? Most of the time, I just want something to get me energized. So I'll have an espresso or I'll have um, the shaken espresso drink. I don't know what it's called, but I, I actually really do like it. And I'll, I'll put whipped cream on it. So, yeah. Twenty twelve. I don't think I went into Aruba. I, I mean, I can't speak. I don't think I went to Aruba in twenty twelve. I think that was Dina. Maybe she always goes there. Maybe you guys are mistaking me for her. Yes, venti ice shaken espresso. Okay, that's what it's called. Thank you. Ay ay ay. I don't even know how to say my expression. I just know like when I go up to the drive through I'm like, cause it's right, it's like written there. My friend Amanda does my lashes. She's going to the DR, so I have to wait for her to come back. But they're holding up, they're doing it right. 
Yes, matcha green tea, frappuccinos. That's awesome too. I, I love matcha. But for, I don't know. It's supposed to have caffeine in it. But for me, I don't really think it does. <laughs> Girl, yeah. I was like, what the hell do you fucking think I'm Martha Stewart? <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Tina. I haven't been there. Probably won't be going back there for a while. So I've been watching Manifest. I know I might be a little late that I watched Wednesday. Loved it. It does. It tastes so earthy. You're so right. Any Starbucks coffee has caffeine. Not tea. Well, not coffee. Well, yeah, then it's the tea. Hello. Being an EMT was so hard. Oh my God, guys. And the pay, you don't like, I really just did it to help people, but come on. Like there were like so many hours. I, I used to work 12s and like get stuck forced o overtime and shit. And like, ugh. people don't realize how hard that job really is. It, it is hard. They should be making a lot more money than, than they are making. Okay. For real. Like, I don't know why EMTs in New York, the fire department, like it makes no sense to me why they're not making the pay that they should be making. It's just insane. I like the Short Hills Mall. I just, some, some of the stores there, you know, the, the workers are, they're not nice. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been hearing that from a lot of people, not just myself. The Louis Vuitton in Short Hills Mall, don't even go in there. Don't even bother. And the um, Louboutin, don't even bother. No point, you'll get treated like trash. Even if you buy stuff, they'll, you'll, they'll still treat you like shit. Don't even bother. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction for your career. I don't want to say anything really. Oh, hi, Mike. Yes, I am going to watch the new season of The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Some of the producers work on on my show that work on that show. Don't really like what I'm hearing so far. It's a little cray cray over there. I mean, yes, I have a Yorkie. I'm just influencer, I'm dying. Yes, definitely. Who do I live the closest to? Dina. Best advice I can give someone. Just for life, I would say, you know, life is hard and I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're an A-list celebrity, it's hard. No one's life is perfect. And you gotta surround yourself with people that truly love you and happiness is the, you need happiness because if you're living a your life without happiness, you might as well just crawl up in a ball because that's not going to be like life is short. I know a lot of people that, you know, here today, gone tomorrow and, and life is short. So when you hold on to a grudge or like, you don't let shit go, which listen, I've done that before. I'm not perfect at all. I've, I've held on to grudges and like, but then I feel, I'm like, oh, I feel bad. And I'm like, no, 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 you know? But I, I do I do say stuff when I, when I see stuff I don't like, I'll say stuff. And, you know, you just gotta keep on trucking along, you know? I would just say, surround yourself with people that love you, for you. Don't take shit from anybody. 
And yeah, always defend yourself. Make sure that you're heard. If people aren't saying that your feelings don't matter to them, make sure that you, you let them know you no longer want to hang out with them. It's tough because I've, you know, in my life, not talking, not saying anybody from the show, I'm not saying that, I'm just talking about generally in life. Like I've let people come back in my life that shouldn't have been. And just because I felt bad or because I'm like, no, maybe they're not, you know, you got to make sure that like, and, and not to mention your gut is, is serious. Like, especially as a woman, like, like listen to your gut. Cause usually you're not wrong. If Jersey Shore family vacation never happened again, I would have been an EMT and then I was going to nursing school. So I was going to make sure that I was not just staying in EMT, which no offense to anybody that stays in EMT. It's a very hard job. I have to give them credit. It is so hard. But the problem with that is the pay does not add up to the amount of stress you're putting on your life, the amount of stuff you see. It's crazy the shit you see. Trust me. I've seen some crazy shit. Um, just doesn't add up. Like the pay should be, they should be making what firefighters make or, or police officers. Like, I don't understand. Just doesn't make sense. It's still never, it, it's, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. I heard girl, like, you know, in school, you got to teach your kids at a very young age to not take shit from people and just be your most authentic self. It's really sad to hear that. That's starting at such a young age. I don't like that. Your, your husband's a firefighter, paramedic, lots of crazy stories. Yeah, well, uh, he's got he's got a one crazy job, man. And he's a firefighter and a paramedic. Jeez. Paramedics, they're they're the ones that like see they go on a lot of a lot of calls, but EMTs go on, I think, a little bit more because paramedics are only there like well, they're there to administer the drugs, right? But EMTs will go to every single job, whereas paramedics go to the jobs that are like the craziest, which is like crazy in itself. Um Yeah. They are definitely heroes. It is a thankless job. It is cre It is just, they do not make the pay they should be making. I am so sorry. Have a good night. Um, I give them a ton of credit too. It's, it's, I used to have to be at work at 4.30 in the morning. Like, I'm like, how is this my life? <laughs> Can't. <laughs> well, thank you for saying that about me. Yes. Yep. Until she got tired of scraping up bodies off the freeway. So that's what I'm saying. Like, my heart used to jump into my stomach, some of the calls. Like, I would be like, we're going to that? Like, ugh. Some of these people I was paired up with, they were like buffs. They were like, I want to go to, I'm like, you crazy, man. I talked to like a few people I worked with, but nothing, you know, nobody really, because I, they, people moved up, they, they leave. I think so too. You're right. Thank you for being a nurse. It's a crazy job in itself. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you. Yes, after the first two seasons of Jersey Shore, I went, I took a little break. I went on a show on VH1 
And then I decided that I wanted to help people for a living. So I went to school. It was a paramilitary, basically. Like, I'm not even kidding. It was like, drop down and give me 50. In Queens, I went to the fire department school for to become an EMT. And that was, people think it's easy. No, 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 no. Not until you're in it. Or unless you've done it. Um, and then I got injured. Tore my whole back apart. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My plans for my future. So I've been working and I, and I know I wanted to perfect it. Uh, my own makeup line, which is coming out soon. I know I've been saying that, but then COVID hit and then the divorce and all this crazy shit. And then I might be doing a little boutique online. If you guys are interested buy some clothes that you like any kind of, I don't know, outfits I think are cool. I'm going to start like taking pictures in them uh, from like a manufacturer, like just like really getting some cool shit. And um, I'm going to make a website and all this other shit for that. But remember when I had the lashes, they were amazing. Um, and then like, I just took a little time for myself. So yeah. I'm going to do my own thing now, again. Sales manager, I'm your girl. All right. I like to hear it. I like that. Thank you. Aw, oh, thanks. Thanks, Jay. Right, an online boutique. What do you guys think of that? Oh my God, what kind of questions? I can't. Thanks, Michael. <laughs> yeah, embroidery cross stitch. What is that? Yeah, I don't want to give away too much of what is in the makeup line, but. I've had to order a lot of samples, trying different things out. Okay, I don't like this. I do like that. I don't like this. I was finding that I was hating more things and liking them. I'm not going to put something out to you guys that I don't even like. So it's been taking me a little bit longer than I wanted. Thank you. Oh, hi, Miss Blair White. I got to DM you, actually. Hi, my love. You guys in these questions, oh my God. Right now I, I have a, I can't speak, wow. I'm reading it, I'm like in a daze, whew. Um, extensions, these are not strip, lash, strip lashes. Should, uh, it's, got, it's going so quick, guys. Yes, the lab making aspects of all of it. Yep. It's been a long road. Do you? Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Mike. Oh yeah, definitely. When I'm putting in the orders, I'm, I'm thinking about you guys. Don't mind. You guys are, I love you guys, everybody. All shapes, sizes, doesn't matter. We are all beautiful. Oh my God. You guys are so funny, I can't. So I'm not gonna go on a live with anybody tonight. I'm gonna get off this actually. I've decided to do Fridays now because I didn't realize that um, 
the West Coast. I forgot about you guys. I don't want to like, I don't want to talk about the show until you guys watch it. So we'll do that. We'll do it on Fridays then, if that's better for everybody. I think it's better for me. Um, anyway. Hi, Aaron. So yeah, we'll do it on Fridays. And I think that would be better. No, he did not keep Angelina. I have Angelina. He wanted Angelina, but I don't think he was that serious anyway. Because if you really, if you want a cat, you're gonna you're gonna fight to the yeah to the death of you to get that cat. It was like, just like whatever. So a lot of lies, a lot of a lot of crazy shit that I just can't even believe happened to me. Yes, you could do my hair too, my makeup. Who the hell? No, I do not talk to him. He sent me something for the animals. For I was just like, is this even him? It was just, it was a lot. Good night, babe. I don't know. Try um, Paramount. Plus. Thanks, my love. Thanks, Mike. I'm a cancer. What are you guys? Thank you, Lewis. Thanks, Jenna. I love you guys. You don't you don't know how much it means to me, like for real. Last season was a doozy one. No, it wasn't a doozy. It was, it was fucking dramatic, but it was hard for me to live through. But I'm all right. I prevailed, right? I'm here. I'm all right. Sagittarius. Yeah, cancers are very misunderstood. Do you feel like that's the like, same thing for you guys, or is it just me? All right, babes. Emily, you gotta catch up. Hi, Dom. Leo. Aries. Yes, Burling's in the building. Scorpio. We're very misunderstood. Cancer is most likely to get arrested. I'm dying. Why is that? Is that like, where'd you read that shit? Yeah, right. Cancer's a cry babies. I hardly ever cry. We're too, we're, we're trying, we, we try not to cry, but we, we don't do it in front of people if we ever do. So how is that being a cry baby? If, any, if anything, we put on a strong front and we don't cry in front of anybody. Just read the topic on you on TMZ. What? What do you mean? Right now it's 10 11. I'm like rocking myself back and forth. Yes, if we cry, it's because we're pissed off. I have to agree with that one. I have to agree. Come on now. We don't cry in front of anyone and we're here for everyone. Very true. Very misunderstood. Very misunderstood we are, my fellow cancers. I gotta say it. Yeah, we could be very emotional. Yes, we can be. But like, we don't really, we, we tend to do it in behind, like without anybody seeing. We'd rather not have anybody see those emotions. So yes, we are emotional. No one's saying that we're not. For everybody that's 
like you pick and choose what you're like, whatever you're going to say, right? Like whatever questions you're answering. I can't see every single one. It's going so quick. Like, what do you think? I'm one person. June 26th is my birthday. Yeah, it's very caring and nurturing, but some people don't think that's the case. Oh, I didn't know that about Tauruses. I had no clue. Thank you. Favorite TV series. I don't know why I like manifest. Am I a weirdo? Sensitive, emotional, caring, and strong. Yep, I agree. Thank you. Oh, you saw me at 618? I do. We feel everybody's pain. Yep, I agree with that. I agree with everything you're saying about cancers, except for whoever said cancers are crybabies. We don't ever usually cry in front of people's in front of people. And if we do, we, that is like, we are, that's a big thing. <laughs> My comfort show. Thank you. Go through with the depression. I started over from the beginning. It has literally helped me. Oh, I love that. Thank you for, for allowing us into your home. Thank you. I really appreciate, I mean, I'm so sorry that you're going through that, but I like the fact that we were able to get you out of your depression sometimes. Sorry that you even have that. I know, right? We do not cry. If you see me crying, that's like huge. That's like a big thing. You know, like if you see me crying, I had to have gotten to like my limit. Plans for Valentine's Day. Probably going to go to dinner or something. The dog in my stories, I, it's from a local um, rescue around here, I think. And it's just like. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. They found that dog in Newark by itself. I just hope he makes it. Please pray, pray, guys, pray for that dog that I posted this morning. Please. I, I can't. I really can't. I don't know who the fuck does that to animals. That's honestly take care of your animals, guys. Like for real. If if somebody can't have an animal like they, they can't afford or they can't take care of an animal don't get one don't 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 get one the animal would much rather be i mean which sucks in a rescuer they actually get care than like which some of the rescues are i don't even trust some of them either but most of them are good you got some of them that would just ruin it for everybody else but um I don't know who would, would keep an animal like that, like emanciated, is that how say emanciated? Like that's freaking terrible, okay? Like, how do you look at a dog like that and you like, you see skin and bones and you're like, all right, don't let, let me still not feed it. Like, I, I don't understand. Like why get an animal? Why, why do that? You know, God's is not like ugly. And one thing I must say to you guys, oh my God, this is like the biggest thing. What you do to animals or and how you take care of animals in this life, literally, I'm not even saying, I'm not even just saying this to you. Those are God's creatures. I say it all the time. And like, if you treat an animal like shit and you abuse an animal or like, and you like take food from them and you like harm an animal in any type of way, like you're definitely not going to fucking heaven and you're definitely not getting anything good in life. That's a hundred percent for sure. I can't even believe that, that that dog was found like that. I'm, I was disgusted. 
I, I'm always disgusted looking at my, my Instagram, my Facebook. Sometimes I can't even look at these fucking pages. If you cannot have an animal, you cannot afford an animal, or you don't like animals and you want to just take get an animal to abuse it, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, literally, you are going to get yours. Plus more, plus some extra. Like, I just don't, like, there's a lot of animals like that. Like, a lot of dogs, a lot of, like, like cats on the street, like, the, the feral ones, like, they, they're not even like that. And they find food somehow, which I, I hate the fact that any kind of animal is on the freaking street. I don't like it. That's why I have so many fucking cats in my house, because it's just like, I'd rather them be in my house and wreck my fucking house than, than be on the street. How, and they're wrecking my house, pissing on my, my counter. I mean, it's just crazy. But then you got some people that will get a dog and literally not even take care of the dog. It's like, are you kidding me? And then you, then you lock it out. I just, I can't. Please, please take care of your animals. I, I really, I, I would appreciate it, guys. I, literally. Please. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you for adopting those two kittens. Animals look at us for love and help. To betray them and hurt them is beyond disgusting. Beyond disgusting. Like, there's a place in hell for you that, for whoever does that. There's a thing about animal shelters funding them. Let me tell you something. A lot of these animal shelters, not all, but some of them, like... I want to make sure if I'm going to donate a lot of money to them, that the money's going to go to the animals and not to somebody's pocket. Like, that's my main concern. You know, like, again, here I am, like, wanting to take control of it because I don't really trust too many people. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not blaming a lot of, I'm not saying a lot of, you got your far and few. Like, you got a, a few people that would do this, but I don't really, honestly, that's another problem. It's like, is the money going to the animal or is it not? Like, I would like to know for sure. That's the only thing I'm saying. So if I go to an event, then I, I make sure what, what they're doing with it. Like, I, I can make sure. And like, if I'm part of it, then I can make sure. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, look at this whole story with Mike. Like, how sad, right? I was I was like, I love Mosi. He's such a good dog. Could you ever hurt an animal? Grandma's good. So wacko. God. Oh, I love those themes. <laughs> Build a farm together. Honestly, I was thinking about starting a, a rescue organization. It's like, where am I doing this though? Guys, I can't. It's so much work. See, if you don't eat dog and cat food, okay, that's fine. That's that's a great idea. Like donating food, treats, blankets, stuff like that, 100%. But when people that see somebody that's on TV, or, or, you never know what these, like, you know what I'm saying? Would your grandmother ever done, date Uncle Nino? I'm dead. I can't, guys. You guys with these questions, stop. What's really popular on TV now? Starting an animal shelter? Animals are smart. Yeah, see, I feel bad for all those cats, man. If I could take them all in, I swear to God, they'd be in my house. I'm very passionate. Literally, like, I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate for animals. It's just one big thing. I, I'm not passionate about what they do to my house, but 
you know, and, and I don't scold them or anything. I just, I, I kind of say, why would you do this? I don't hit them. I don't do any of that. I don't even put their nose in it. Like, like, like most people like put them. No, I don't touch them. I don't do any of that. Never lay my finger on my animals. I would never literally destroying my home. <laughs> so hi, babe. Oh, Supergirl. Oh, I love that. I've actually watched that before. What's your name? Yeah, right. Hi, Chris. I miss you. What is up, my love? Guys, I'm getting tired. Yes, I did watch Wednesday on Netflix. Just saw your question. Everything, all the questions are going so fast. Remember. He's too what? Yeah, but I'm too, I'm too, sm I'm too much of a mush with my animals. I'm like, oh, you shit on the floor. All right. Let me clean it. You know, I'm like, I can't believe they just did that. I mean, I, I can't yell at them like that. Yes. I know, I wish I had a mimosa too, girl. Oh, there's a, there's a series on Netflix, Selena? Oh, maybe I should catch that shit. Yeah. Is it good or is it like, eh? Yeah, my kids are really bad, but I love them. They're like terrible. Peanut's good. She's in the other room. I'm going to lower this a little bit. It's like, I'm like dying over here. A cat sanctuary. I would so do that. Lola the bunny costume. You have to ask Nicole. My sister watches the animals when I'm away. And I'm like, girl, get ready because you're getting freaking, geez, these, these animals, they, they run you rampant around the whole house. Yeah, animals are really, really special. Make them look at you like you're the top dog. I'm dead. What the hell? Thank you. Give me, yeah, make me a, a grilled cheese, Robert. Do I miss doing the show? Where have you been? It just aired tonight, the premiere. Come on, guys. I would definitely, I would definitely rescue animals with disabilities. I mean, those, those animals, I feel horrible. I actually do have an animal with like a little bit of a lazy eye. Not like that's a disability. Well, I mean, it kind of is. But the ones with like, like just two legs, I'm just like, how? The ones with the, with the, uh, that are, need to get their eyes taken out. Come on. So sad, man. But I would definitely do it. I'd be one of those. Nobody's actually asked me to take one of those in and I've never found one. So that's probably why I don't have um, an animal with disabilities, honestly. Except like I said, the one animal, the one cat I do have. Thank you. 
Thank you, Asher. I appreciate you. So you guys want me to do a makeup tutorial on live? Okay. Oh, poor blind, poor baby. See, I just don't get that. Like, I just don't know, like, why that happens. But you know what? Thank you for taking that, that baby in. You are amazing for that. A bald cat? Everybody wants me to, isn't it called a, a sphinx cat? I don't take my cats outside. So that wouldn't work. I love our name. All right, guys, I'm getting off here. All right, so tomorrow, I don't know, or should I do it on Mondays? Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. Cause some, some of you crazies over there are working during the week and then you guys see it on the weekend. Hmm. Should I do these lives on a Friday where I know the West Coast can watch? Or should I just let everybody watch it during the whole weekend and then come on on a Monday and put some of you guys on the live? What should I do before I get off? Sunday night? So, oh yeah, because Monday you guys are working. So Monday? Okay, so everyone's saying Monday. Wait. Or Sunday. Sunday or Monday, guys. Forget Friday. Ooh, before the show, talk about the last show. Ooh, that's a good idea. I didn't think of that one. Hmm, let me think. So it's 7 o'clock going alive for like an hour. And that will make everybody that didn't watch it, that they're up to speed on it. Right? That's actually a good idea. I gotta, I gotta think about these things here. So it's either a Sunday, Monday, or the night of for the episode before. Okay. Then it props us for the show. What if you guys are working? I don't have an OnlyFans. Oh my God. Jesus. No, but Thursday after the show, it's just not fair for everybody on the West Coast. Makeup Live. Yes, we will do one of those. I promise you guys. Last time I will definitely do it. Maybe I'll do, a, maybe I'll just do Sunday and then I'll go back on for like a half an hour before the next episode. I don't have an OnlyFans, guys. I know everyone tells me I'd make a lot of money on there. You know what? I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to make a, I can't speak tonight. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I will be better the rest of the week, but now, my God. I'm like very, I'm just not speaking normally today. Um, I don't want to work with those people who have kids. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so now it's 7.30 on the West Coast right now. So if you guys go with the 8 o'clock, it's not, you guys didn't even see it yet, right? So there's no point of doing it on a Thursday night. You're right. I'm either going to leave it for a Sunday, Monday, or right before the next episode airs. All right. I'm going to...
gonna do a pull. That's what I'm gonna do. I gotta get off here. And I gotta go get ready for bed. I love you guys so much. We love you. We thank you for watching. Catch up on the episode if you did not watch it this weekend, please, because I think I'm gonna go live on Sunday or Monday. So if you did DVR it, get your ass over to the TV and watch it. And then on Sunday or Monday, I'm gonna go on a live. I'll let you guys know what time beforehand, like in the morning. So you'll see my my uh, story about it. So I'm not just gonna leave you guys hanging and not tell you what time and just go on out of nowhere. Um, and that's it. And then I'll put some people on my live. So sorry to everybody that I told I was gonna put them on the live tonight. I literally just remembered that on the west coast it's an area so i'm like oh no 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 <laughs> sorry okay i love you guys thank you for watching tonight thank you for watching when you guys watch during the weekend we love you guys um and that's it really thank you for tweeting with me and the, and the rest of the cast we all tweeted with everybody tonight um and that's all I can say. Be nice to each other. And that's it, really. That's all I can say. And I'm going to think about when I can go on this live with you guys so I can start adding people in. Because then that's when it really gets good. Because then I can actually speak to you guys like one-on-one with everybody else seeing. And then you guys can ask me personally questions that you have but it has to pertain to the episode you can't just ask me questions about things that didn't air yet or things you want to know that's going to come up in the future or something that you think might have you know or you want me to just spill the tea no 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 no, no. not going to be answering those questions so only questions pertaining to the episode that already aired the week prior The outfit. This is my outfit, guys. Sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't tie this. A little comfy. Comfy's over here. Thank you, Mary. No, I don't smoke weed, but I definitely should. <laughs> you know, many people told me that, like, you definitely should smoke pot. I'm like, I know. I know that. I'm dead. I am dead. Yes, Madison, graphic designer in the building. All right. I love you all. I'm going to bed. It's a uh, Thursday night. I used to go out on Thursday nights. It used to be my, like, Saturday night. What happened? Honestly, everywhere Thursday nights suck now. I don't smoke cigarettes now. Sometimes on occasion, like back in the day, I used to take, I don't know, like a cigarette or something and smoke it. Like not inhale it. Like, I don't know. I'm like a weirdo. I, I don't smoke. I do smoke the, the vape sometimes though. Sometimes I will grab one of them if I'm like stressed or something. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you guys so much. And that's it. That's all I have to say. Sweet dreams. And that's, that's it, really. New Jersey. You guys still going, huh? I feel like we, I, I feel like when everyone's like, you're not young anymore. No, I am young. Like, we don't say that about yourself because I feel like we're still young. Just the times have changed. Back in the day, it used to be so fun on Thursday nights everywhere. Like, now you try to, like, find a place to go out on a Thursday night, everything's closing at, like, 11 o'clock. Can I do a ghost with a vape? How the hell do you do that? All right, I could read these forever, guys. My back's killing me. I love you guys.
Yeah, right? Feels so young. There you go. Don't let anybody say different because then you're going to be like, maybe I am old. No, 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 no. You're not old. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night, babes. A lot of things close early now after COVID. You are right, my love. What the hell? Oh, I love that. If you can't sleep, we're still up. I love that. Like, I can come on my live and just talk to you guys all night. That's so cute. You guys are adorable. Sometimes you get these, like, creeps that come on here. But thank God there's no, like, weirdos on here tonight. I actually love this group. Got this one weirdo man last time. I'm like, is this guy freaking kidding me right now? Like, get me away from this guy. My nightstand. Well. No, Andrew. What it, no, don't tell me anything important. If that's one of those weird things, don't even bother. Just like sometimes when I'm going to live, somebody will be like, what's behind you? And I'm like, what? And then I turn around, there's nothing behind me. It's like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? No, it wasn't you, Andrew, because if it was, then I'd definitely be like, it was you. Don't be one of those people, please. It's not a good look. My God. I'm dead. And just when I was just about to say... Everybody on here was great. You got this one dick over here. Pounds of makeup on. Take this and shove it up your ass. How about that? If I want to wear, first of all, I don't have pounds on, you idiot. Second of all, whatever the, if I want to have my face literally the rainbow right now, I'll fucking do it. Chill out. Go on Paramount Plus. If I want to write dickhead on my forehead, I'm allowed to do it. So get off my shit. Thank you. Like, you got to be kidding me. Like, what woman, like, every woman in her lifespan has worn makeup. Your mom wears makeup. Get the fuck out of here. It's really nice, jerk off. Like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So <sighs> always one asshole. Always one jerk off. Never fails. It's just like, boom, the minute I say it, he just jumps on my life. Trust me, I don't get down from no motherfuckers like that. I like to, um say my piece and curse them out trust me ain't no uh i'm not upset over here trust me did i forget to take the sticker off my shirt where where did i probably did you know what? i felt something before wait Is it really here? Where? Oh. Oh, shit. I walked around like that all day. Oops. Thanks. For good looking out. <laughs> Thank God. I'm walking around the mall like that. What an asshole. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. Dead. I always, this is like my thing. Like, I do this all the time. I know. At least you guys know I, I'm wearing an extra small. <laughs> Sighing. This is like what I do now. <sighs> I know, I look so tired, right? I'm like, oh. all right, guys, love you.